Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's walk at home workout and these are low impact knee friendly exercises. Okay, let's get ourselves warmed up. Just tapping out the floor here in front and crisscrossing the arms, bringing all of those limbs in so we get nice and warm, nice and quickly. Okay, now I'm not using any weights today, but if you have your weights there and you feel up for it, that's fine, you, use, you can use um, a little bit of resistance if you want to. Now I'm changing up the format today. So we are used to doing 30 and 30 for both exercises or 20, 40, or sometimes we do a freestyle walk. I haven't done one of those in ages. I must do one of those soon where there's no um, beeper. But today we are going to do 30 for the walk and 45 for the following exercise. Okay, so that is going to kind of push the workout out a little bit because it's over a minute. So we'll be doing about 25 minutes today. That's what the actual main body of the workout will be 25 minutes. Let's bring those elbows back now and feel the posture muscles warming up. Well done. Just gently bringing the shoulder blades together behind you there, retraction. That's it, good. Bring it down. If your arms are feeling a bit fatigued too soon, bring it down in front of your tummy. Good, now working those inner and outer thighs. Let's do four more, three, two, and one. Let's reach across the room. Good, and punch out that ceiling. Well done, I'm always trying to come up with different ideas for you, different formats for the workouts, keeping it fresh. I think it's nice if you keep your workouts fresh, you'll, you'll want to come back. The mind will be interested, motivated, and that's what we need to do. If we do the same workout all the time, it does become very monotonous. So we try and keep the boredom out of it and keep it interesting. Two arms now, reach and reach. Tapping out the floor and reach and four and three. Let's go into some rainbow legs. I haven't done those in a little while. They are coming up in the workout today as well. So let's warm them up. So again, just imagine your hips are like headlights in the front in the front of a car so don't let them don't let your hips uh, sway side to side keep them focused and facing the front that's it let the movement come from that hip joint there you can feel the thigh bone there the femur rotating in your hip joint and that's nice it keeps that joint nice and healthy getting blood circulating to it and motion into the hip good work well done don't worry about coming too high. You can feel a nice pull in your groin as well. So warming up that area as well. And we'll, we'll warm it up a little bit more now with a few side steps or lunges if you can get into a deeper lunge. Let's do two more. Last one, two feet together. Side step it. Or if you can get a little deeper, a little wider with the lunge, try that. That's it. Just stay in tune with your body. Listen to your body. If it feels a little bit too much, too soon, just sidestep it. That's it. Good. You can get down a little deeper as you go through the warm-up. It's fine. Keep your chest up now. It's the, the knee that bends to allow the chest to come down, but the chest stays straight or the back stays straight. That's it. Remember, bend the knee to get your body down there. Well done. And we'll finish out with it here. Good, okay. Two feet, um, about shoulder distance. Sit and reach. A few little squat thrusters there to warm up that lower half and that upper half evenly. That's good. Reach in and drive up. <sighs> Expel out that air for me, good. And reach. Being a lovely stretch for the trunk there, it's really nice. If it's a morning workout, it's lovely to, to get these stretches into your morning routine. Well done. Now, let's circle, watch rending above your head. If you can't do big moves above your head like that, just bring them down a little lower. And you're still working on shoulder mobility and you're still stretching out your chest somewhat. You're just doing it what, at your whatever your mobility is allowing you to do. That's it, now forward. Keep the chest upright here now. Pretend you're swimming here. Pretend you've got water, you're in water here. You can feel the weight of the water. 
That's it, just letting the legs go side to side, keeping the heart rate elevated. Well done. And four, and three, two, and one. Now let's hit the hamstrings a little bit before we begin. So I'm just kicking out here. Kick, don't, don't lean back behind you. Kick and kick. Now you should feel a little bit of a pull on the hamstrings, the back of the leg there, the back of your upper thigh, the back of the thigh, I should say, the back of your upper leg. Punch out, punch. Belly button pulled in for me. That's it, good. Now, as always with the walks, there's loads of stepping moves because if you want to record your steps, if you like to do that, you should get a good few today. You can let me know in the comments the minute you, you get out of this workout today. There's 30 minutes, even though the workout's 25, lots of steps going on here as well in the warm up. Add them all up, they all count. Okay, leave the arms out. Now let's focus a little bit more on those hamstrings. Just rest your hands on your hips there. Good. If you haven't started getting some air in, breathe now for me. Let's do four and three, two and one. Okay, you feeling ready to go? Now we're going straight away. I don't have any breaks today, but if you can use the walks, the 30 seconds as active rest. Now it is, it is a no repeat. All the, the exercises in the 45 second Sec, uh, section of the workout or segment of the workout are all different. The only thing we're repeating is the walks, but you don't have to keep walking. You can, if you can, I know it is knee friendly, but you can do light little skips if you want, or if you're okay with your knees, you can even take it up into a light little jog. So much you can do during that walking period, okay? All right, let's get going now. If you do need a break, you find the walking's not enough for you, just pause the video and come back when you feel you're ready. Okay, enjoy yourself. Looking forward to this one. Let's walk it out. Remember, add your weights if you want to. That's fine. Okay, now I'm going to show you the move that's coming up while you walk. So each time I'm showing you the move, you just keep walking, okay? All right, so first one's really simple though. Heel tap, shoulder press. Okay, heel tap, shoulder press, that's it. That's the next move for 45 seconds. And if you want to, you can walk it out using body weight, because you might like to do a little skip if you don't mind jumping. Or, and then you can pick up weights for this part here, okay? Just giving you lots of options, giving you some ideas, throwing some ideas out there for you. All right, now down low, if you have trouble with anything above the head, that's it, now just, um, make sure that your wrists are sort of uh, flexed here, pushing the palms up to the ceiling, like you're pushing two trays up to the ceiling. That's it, good. Now you're expecting that beeper any second. Don't forget, this is 45 seconds. So it's a, we're progressing a little bit here, adding on to time. It's a good way to progress your workouts. Increases the workload for you a little bit. Okay, let's walk it out. Now our next one's just the diagonal walk, so a giant V on the floor, and you can bring a knee up a little bit, and other side, okay? You don't have to add a knee raise if you don't want to. That's it, come on. March those arms for me. Keep that back nice and straight, head nice and tall up to the ceiling. That's it, good. Get the air in. It's easier to get the oxygen in when your posture is upright. Let's march it at our diagonal walker, yeah, diagonal marches. Good. Neat. Well done. And you can take up the pace if you want to. And knee raise. Good, it doesn't have to be a perfect V on the floor. That's it, lift up. Well done. Back to walking after this one. And then I'll show you the next move. Good, keep those feet moving and stepping away. And lift, good. Hope you're having fun. I really do get great enjoyment out of the walks. It's lovely, all these different stepping moves. Okay, right, let's walk again. Now, you keep moving there. I'll show you the next exercise. Two side steps, two step back. And you can add arms if you want to with this one. All right, okay, not too many arms 
coming in today. Well, I say that now, but there probably will be a few. Okay, add arms if you want with the next one. Right, let's march it out. Good, come on. Drive those knees for me. Nice and light in your feet. Okay, now two side step. Two, two step back. Side step, back. Get all those cracks and all those little creaks out of those ankles with these side moves. Good, well done. You should feel some blood circulating now around down to your feet at this stage. Hopefully you are. And it's lovely if your feet are cold, just get up and do a little bit of low impact exercise. Circle, uh, rotate your feet, your ankles. Get that blood circulating down to your feet because it's not good for them to be cold. That's it. Back to walking very soon now. Push back. Okay, remember now you can jog it here or skip if you don't mind impact. If you see a title on the video and you don't have to stick to it because if you're able for it, you can uh, just tailor it to what suits you, okay? Now we're stepping across the room, next, and then we're going to add a little knee drive. Now you, again, here you could shuffle and add a knee drive, it's very, very light. Will we go for that one? Okay, shuffle or step. I like the shuffle, I think it just really flows well when you're adding on at the end, like this knee raise. And I'm bringing it across the body because it gives me a great stretch in my glutes. And across, good. And across, well done. Keep going, now keep your posture upright for me. It's very easy to start sinking down into the moves as you go through the workout. Good, across and across. And drive. Good, nice swift move across the room. Working in different planes of movement. Good work, okay. Let's walk it out again, or skip if you prefer. Take your air in now, catch your breath there if you did a little bit of, small bit of hopping. Now we've got a forward walk, and then back, kicking the leg out. Okay, now watch your knee as you're kicking the leg out with the next one. It's important that you contract the muscles above your kneecap, your quadriceps, to protect your knee when you're kicking out. Forward, and kick, and kick. You can add arms if you want to. Take your time getting back, and kick. Nice march forward, kick, 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 and kick. Well done, and kick, kick. Forward. How are you getting on with this going backwards? These legs kicking, it takes a little while to get used to. I'm glad I have the 45 seconds. And kick, and kick. Good, keep going, and kick, kick. And march it forward, and kick, and kick. You might be able to get your kicks a little higher as you go on with that one. Okay, let's walk again. Now have another one off the spot. I'll show it to you now, forward, zigzagging forward, zigzagging back. I'm gonna add a little push away, okay? Right, getting the chest worked. Pop those arms with me, come on. Speed it up if you want to. Drive those knees forward, keeping your back straight. All right, let's go for a zigzag. One, two, three, and make your way back. Well done, one, two, and three, and make your way back. Good, two, three, push it all the way back. Come on, have some fun with it. These are lovely fun exercises, getting off the spot, getting endorphins flowing for us. Good, and one, and two, and three. Oh, I'm getting four in there. Good, I think I get more efficient as I go through the moves. That's it, start off small, add on, keep going. Back to walking next. Well done, okay, let's walk it out. Good work. Now we have a side step punch. Side step punch. That's our next move. It's a nice swift move, 
very fast directional change so watch your knees okay just be aware zone in tune into your knees for the next one come on drive those arms up for me that's it now let's go abs engaged punch 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 now go slower if this pace is too fast for you quickly change from one foot to the other that's it I'm pretty much staying up on my toes as well good we'll have nice shapely calves <laughs> punch it out good come on keep going you're doing great well done punch come on give me nice strong punches let's see how strong we are out there we are very strong ladies 10 seconds and we'll walk it out good keep going last five four three two and there you go well done march it out keep the body moving now we have alternating knee drives coming next or knee repeaters one two on both sides two on the other so two both sides okay <clears throat> push those arms back work in the back of the arms a little bit stretching out the chest and the shoulder that's it okay you ready for this one two and another one of these where you're swiftly changing direction so again watch your balance work your tummy here standing abs if you just gently bring that rib cage down towards those moving legs one two one two good one two come on you can do it that's it elbows down two one two come on stay with it keep breathing for me you're doing wonderful well done drive and drive drive and drive okay let's walk again now we're going to x the legs across the body and we're going to add in a shoulder press okay we haven't really done much arms above the head but we'll get a couple in i'm sure before we're finished okay let's walk it again let's do that push back that was nice push the arms back pretend you're in water here push that heavy water behind you well done now let's x the cross x the legs across shoulder little lifts if you can't get above your head good let's work those inner thighs turn out that toe a little bit for me keep going we burn out the shoulders a little bit let them know they've been worked today good and keep the body moving come on push right up to the ceiling you're doing great keep going we're nearly there with this one we're back to walking you can rest out those arms push through a couple more seconds and you are done use your breathing to help you get through good work well done let's walk again now we have a box step step next so four points one two three four one two three and four four points on the floor You get your breath up with that last one sorry did you get out of breath with that last one get your heart rate up i should say feeling a bit breathless after that last one good come on keep going get ready for box step let's go on the right leg right left and back for two two three four one two three four keep the legs wide think of wide legs for box step now if you bend the knees deeply you get a little bit more quads coming in the front of your legs and definitely more glutes that's it good you can keep upright though if you want to if you feel like your knees are kind of getting a bit fatigued or twinging a little bit well done good keep going give me two more i want you to tap out the left leg and lead on it now tap i like to make sure both sides are leading particularly in no repeat workouts we get a few reps in with the left leading oh left it a bit too late how an error okay let's walk it again time goes so fast when your mind is busy okay rainbow legs for two 
two wide knee raises so here we go with those headlights on the car keep walking there knee raise i'll show you that one again good and you can probably have to slow that in the next one down just a little bit otherwise you will uh, you might fall over <laughs> okay so just taking the pace down a little bit one and two knee and knee now if you ever feel after a prolonged sitting just say you have to sit for your commute to work or for work in general you sit a lot in your job here's one to do on a little break if you get a little break your lunch breaks this is wonderful for the hips it really helps to take that stiffness out of your hips from sitting good oh groin groin into hip flexor it actually really feels lovely this combination here keeping the hips healthy very important at any age but most definitely when you get into menopause up and up okay walk it again well done good work hope you're enjoying the exercises so far i certainly am getting having good fun here working out with you now we're step touching next step touching now we're bringing back in the shoulder press okay so here we go again we're going to burn out those shoulders next all right again you don't have to if you're feeling like you're just having one of those days where you're tired let's go for it step touch shoulder shoulder you can just uh, do a bicep curl if you're feeling a little bit fatigued today or you've already done you say oh i did the shoulder a minute ago i'm not doing it again <laughs> whatever the reason push up push and get off the spot here if you want to come on let's have some fun inner and outer thigh work what more could you ask for good along with the triceps the inner thighs are very neglected i even know myself when i'm working out i think do i work my inner thighs i certainly do here with lively ladies anyway so i more than make up for it come on just there push through it well done okay walk it out now we are stepping back for two and we're going to reach the ceiling keep those heels up push up to the ceiling okay that's next come on bring in some air for me march it out well done feeling those happy hormones those endorphins just uh, pumping out through the body now feeling really good nice and warm nice and toasty you ready so step back first get those legs down first note the heel stays up okay and you might hear regulars hear me say it quite often here just protecting the achilles heel and um, but if you're new here now let's punch out go one at a time if your shoulders are fatigued from the last few shoulder presses good or you can do two if you're not feeling tired that's it leaning slightly at the waist well done keep going this is great I like this um, longer time to get the moves in. Gives you a little bit of extra time to think. That's it, good. And there you go with that one. Well done, walk it out again. Okay, now we're gonna squat next. Just a little seat will do. And kick out. Squat and kick. Okay, that's your next move. You don't have to go into a deep squat. Just a little seat will do fine. Good work. Come on, let's go with our walks. Well done, okay. We'll take them up again in a second. And kick, sit down, kick. Now kick down low if that's what your body will allow for you. Good, sit down and kick nice bouncy dynamic move here working those hamstrings working those glutes so a nice posterior chain exercise if you've never heard of the posterior chain it's the muscles that run along behind you there the ones we tend to ignore <laughs> okay kick because we can't see them we tend to work the mirror muscles because the ones we see in the mirror <laughs> well done we're just there okay let's walk it out again good that's great work now the next one are knee hugs 
So if you have any problems with your knees, you don't have to go down deep, but I'll just show it to you anyway. So you're gonna hug your knees and then reach out both legs. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you can just do a little tap and reach. Little tap and reach, that's fine, okay? All right, oh my goodness, there we go. Knee hug, reach. Knee hug, reach. Knee hug. Now, you, I know my back is coming down to, or my, sorry, my chest is coming down low towards my legs, a bit like a narrow squat, but I'm still keeping my spine flat, okay? Straight. I'm not rounding the back. At least I hope I'm not. I don't feel like I am. <laughs> reach and reach out. Come on, this is our pendulum, working those little muscles in the hip there, the glute medius, glute minimus. You might wonder why they're called glute. You think your glute is the one you sit on. They are the ones that lie underneath. They extend around to the side. We don't really have hip mu muscles. They come, they extend around. Okay, um, again, another group area of the body that we tend to neglect. Right, we're walking again, we do a brisk walk. Nice and light. Next one now, I'm just gonna transition straight into it. It's just a march across the room and chest press. And you can take it into stepping across the room if you don't wanna do these little kind of hoppy moves. Okay, oh, there we go. Right, chest press. Good. Make your way over. If you want, you can turn it into a shuffle. Keep your head up high now. Nice and standing tall, standing proud. Good. Keep going, your arms getting tired if they are punched down in front of your tummy. That's it, 20 seconds or less left. If you wanna bring it back up, punch out that air. How did we get to 20 minutes? My goodness me, that was so fast. Must be having great fun here. We're not watching the clock. <laughs> Well done, okay. Let's walk it out. That was a nice one. That really got the uh, heat into the body, the lower half. Right, we have, what are we doing next? Alternating double step back. So we're going one, two, one, two. Okay, and I'm gonna push back the arms. It hits the triceps a little bit. But we'll get them in. It's a lovely stretch for the chest anyway. So. You ready for it? Let's go. One, other leg now. One, two, and one, and two. Good, change one to get that balance there. The arms can go out to the side a little bit if you want. Might help you with your balance a little bit more. Push out at an angle. Good, one, and two, one, and two. Great, one, and two. Keep breathing for me. Now don't forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath. That's it. Keep your body moving. We're just there. And one, and two, and one, and two, one, and two. Just go, gonna go back to walks now. All right, there you go. Well done. Let's march it out. Let's do some nice high knee marches with keeping our back straight. Now we have a continuous low jack, so that's the legs going out to the side and we're going to open and up, open and up. Okay, we're going to get our heart rate up before we finish out today. Well done. Keep your body moving. Let's go. One, two, now bring in the arms. Up, open, up, good, and reach up and reach. Again, you should be able to see those arms. Once they go up in the air, you should be able to see them in front of you. Just make sure they're not going behind you. I know some of you out there might be super flexible. But just watch your back with that. Now, if you don't want to lift your arms above your head, just say in case you have an injury or that, or don't have the mobility, just do the ones out in front. That's it, come on, keep those legs going. Good, we'll speed up for the last few seconds. Reach up, open wide, feel that lovely stretch with the chest there. It's really nice. Well done. Okay, 22 and a half minutes in. Right, let's walk it again. Good. Okay, knee raise, punching the ceiling. Nice, fun move. 
just before we finish this is next okay that's it do that little brisk walk again if you like get ready for a knee raise punching to the ceiling good coming up on 23 minutes well done knee raise punch the ceiling punch it out for me that's it come on keep going keep going drive up for me well done you're doing great lift and lift and lift come on you're doing a great job there drive and drive drive it up keep your breathing going that's it long arms up to the ceiling for me stretching out those glutes good well done let's walk it again okay very near the end of our workout now today if you liked this workout i'd appreciate a thumbs up on it if you liked this format and you'd like to see more like that just let me know in the comment box below the video i always love to hear your feedback it really is great for me it makes my job a little bit easier we're coming up with new ideas <laughs> Okay, now forward and back, so sorry, forward and back leg curls are coming next, okay? And you can stay on the spot if you want to. Let's do some bicep curls with this one. Forward and back. Well done. Keep going. Good. And kick, and kick, and kick. Well done, keep the body moving now. Kick it out and curl so we're curling and kicking that's it i think i set the gym boss wrong today so you're not going to hear your end your end beep beep beep, beep. i think i typed in the wrong number today not to worry we're coming up on our 25 minutes well done today you did wonderful and that is it good work 25 minutes in the bag okay sorry i just set that gym boss wrong so we didn't get our last beep beep beep, beep as we normally get i kind of miss it when i don't have it okay let's march it out take in nice big deep breaths that was a lovely 25 minute workout really enjoyed that okay let's breathe it all in breathe it all out breathe it all in and breathe it all out I see what I did wrong. <laughs> I put in, I should have put 20 in the little window to the side and I put in 25, but I wasn't, I wasn't thinking. I went by minutes. <sighs> Good. If you're not used to those gym bosses, you mightn't understand what I'm talking about. <sighs> I, I just typed in the wrong thing. <laughs> all right, not to worry. It didn't affect the workout at all. I had a great time. <sighs> Good. Now let's stretch across and stretch across stretch across now i'm just bringing your heart rate down here for a minute or two and i'm going to link up a longer cool down for you in my cool down playlist which i always provide links for and you'll find it in the description box right under this video okay and there's absolutely no searching for it good well done and across feeling a lovely stretch for the trunk that is lovely let's do two more Good, and this will be your last one. And let's just, a nice stretch across for those back muscles. Just turning a little bit on that toe. Good. Well done. Let's do four and three, two and one. And I wanna say a big thank you for joining me today. Big thank you for all the thumbs up that you put on the video. I really do appreciate it and all the comments you're sending me. I love hearing how you're getting on. And also just a big welcome to all the new subscribers. We recently hit 5,000 sub subscribers on the channel and I am so happy with that. Can't believe it after close to nearly two and a half years now on YouTube. And um, I'm just so happy with that. And it's a big thank you to each and every one of you out there for hitting that um, subscribe button and just working along, working out with me here and getting fit and healthy. So we really are growing a nice, strong, lively ladies team. And I really do thank you for that. 
I will see you really soon. Have a lovely day.